welcome to another Catalog Vlog video. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at uh, a common, I'm not going to call it an error, it's not an error, it's a notification window, uh, but it's one that a lot of people will see uh, using Autodesk Inventor if you haven't seen it already. Um, so I thought I'd go over not only what the notification means, uh, but how to resolve it as well. So hopefully you should get a better understanding of uh, why we see this notification. So, uh, the notification I'm talking about, which some of you may have guessed, is at the files uh, conflict. So, again, this isn't an error. Uh, I'm not going to call it an error. It is just a notification. It is just letting the users know that basically there's a, there's a mismatch. But it's saying that the following style definitions in the template, pointing to my template file, differ from the definitions in the style library. So these are uh, the two terms that we need to uh, understand here. We've got style definitions and the definitions in the style library. So the file will have its own information on, on its styles contained within it, because you may have some slight differences to those styles in individual files. You may have a, a slightly different dimension style in one particular drawing. Um, you might have a different line type in one particular drawing. So you don't want to change the entire style library, but that one drawing will have slightly different definitions to what's in the library. And opening a file is fine. You won't see this, uh, this issue. Uh, this is purely because this is a template file. Uh, so the software is, is basically saying a, a standard file um, and, and the standard style library should kind of be the same, really. It's expecting it to be the same. I'll click OK and I'll just hop into the file. And the first thing I wanted to point out is if we go to the Manage tab, you can see here we get some tools for the Styles Manager. And um, the Styles Manager, if I open uh, it right here, although it calls it the Styles Editor, uh, this is where all our styles are, are saved. And if I just open up my templates window, just go back to the Design Data folder. So this, if yours is installed in the standard location, it should be the same as mine. So it's C, users, public, fully document, Autodesk, Inventor, and the year of the release. And we'll look in design data. And in here, you see all these XML files. These XML files are our style library. So if you want to back it up, these are the files that you'll need to back up. Um, but these are our individual style library um, input definition. So for instance, if I looked at Balloon in here and I opened it up in maybe a text editor or XML editor, I would see that it gives me the same input as the branch on the tree in the styles editor under Balloon. So that's basically what we're looking at. So what the notification is saying is the information in those XML files is different to what the template is saying that they should be. There's two ways that we can fix this. First of all, um, I want to point out um, Excuse the parrot. Uh, I just wanted to point out that we, we need to be able to edit the style library first. So I'm going to open my settings just to show you where this is. I'm currently using my box project for this, and you can see that it's got use style library, read write. Um, now you need to be able to edit this file, which is why these are grayed out at the moment. So if I edit a standard um, project file, just a default project file, we can see here it's set to read only. Uh, but because this isn't controlled by vault, I can go in and change this at any time. If I use this one now, it's set to read only. I'm just going to open a template. Um, this will be different as well because my project file is looking in different places. But if I go to my styles editor now, you can see because it's set to read only, we don't get the option to save. So in order to push this fix through, um, you must have your project file set to read write. However, once you're done with that, set it back to read only because it allows users to go in and make changes and you might not want them to save those changes. So let me just hop back over to my um, vault project because this is set to read write and I can make those changes. And let's go into my template again. We'll click through the notification. Uh, so before I do actually click through it, it does say here if the style definitions in the library are intended for the new document, update the template with the style library definition. If the style definitions in a template are intended for the new document, remove these styles from your style library using the style library manager. I'm just going to click OK. And 
if we don't know what those styles are, then by clicking on this save button, it will actually list them. Oh, it's actually showing it. So my style library is uh, more up to date than my template file. So I'm not getting anything in that style list. If, it, if the page was in the template file, I would be able to save that change to the style library. But my style library, as we can see, and this is the change, it was labeled text, I know it was that. But I don't have anything in save, and I don't have anything in update. And also nothing in purchase. There's nothing unused. All purchase is just to get rid of the styles that aren't used. Um, so because I have nothing in save and update, I know that my style library is the latest. So in order to fix this, I can go to File, Save As, and Save the Template. I'm going to overwrite my standard PWG template. That's the one that we'll see in that list, uh, the standard. And really, the style library and the template file should match. We don't get the notification popping up. Huh. Hopefully that uh, that will help you get around that notification window popping up all the time. My name's Chris Smith. I'm an applications engineer for the manufacturing team here at Cadline. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. <music>